Hi, my name is Gurjeet Bandar. I'm a senior attorney here at the Nieves Law Firm. I'm here to talk to you today what your rights and obligations are at a DUI stop. We've all had that feeling when we look in the rearview mirror and we see those lights on. We pull over, we get that pit in our stomach. Make sure you pull over. Make sure you follow any sort of announcements on the PEA system that the officer gives you about where to pull over and how to pull over. After that, you have certain obligations that you need to do, but you also have some rights that you may enforce. One obligation you have is to identify yourself, provide any sort of registration and insurance information for you have for the vehicle that you're driving. After that, you're not obligated to provide any evidence that may be used against you in a court. You're not obligated to provide any field sobriety tests, the walk and turn, the, the HGN, it's called the horizontal gaze and stagmus, where they track your eyes. You're not obligated to give a breath test on the side of the street in a small device, the PAS machine. You're not obligated to do any of that. You're not obligated to answer any questions that they may pose. Have you been drinking? Have you been driving? Where have you been coming from? How much have you had to drink? Do you believe that you're affected by the consumption of alcohol? How much sleep have you had? How much have you had to eat? Do you have any medical problems? Have you taken any medication? All of those questions are voluntary. The PAS machine is voluntary. The field sobriety tests are voluntary. You can refuse those. Those are all voluntary. The only way that they're not vol the PAS machine is not voluntary is if you are on probation for a DUI or if you're under 21. If you're on probation or under 21, you must take that test. Otherwise, everything else is voluntary. You're not obligated in any way to provide information or provide any sort of evidence that may incriminate you in a court of law going forward. If you are arrested, after the investigation and they take you to the station, you are obligated to provide a chemical test. That chemical test has to be a breath test or maybe a blood test. You are obligated to provide this. If you do not provide a breath test or a blood test, then they may hold that against you. They may punish you more severely either in court or with a license suspension. Please call us here at Nieves Law Firm if you are arrested. Please call us immediately if you are arrested for a DUI, and we can help you as soon as we can. Thank you.